Hello viewers, welcome to the new video of MBS Learning and this video is one of the most common problem we all face after a travel or a trek or any other place of we go to any other place uh, like a trip or something or eating something new or eating something which is expired. Yes, I am talking about diarrhea. So this video is fully dedicated to diarrhea. So let's get into the video. Diarrhea is the fluid loose motion that occurs in an unusual abnormal pattern and usually it comes with a huge urge to use the loo. So that's diarrhea. This diarrhea is sometimes severe in infants and elderly people and there are two types of diarrhea acute and chronic. Acute diarrhea means which occurs for a shorter period of time and chronic diarrhea is something that occurs for a longer period of time. So these are two types of diarrhea. Acute diarrhea. Acute diarrhea as I told you it happens for a shorter period of time and there are various causes which are mainly related to food and water contamination or food and water containing certain viruses or bacteria. And infective gastroenteritis can also cause this and it can also be acquired through droplet infection. And other common uh, causes for this acute diarrhea is anxiety, uh, anxiety and sometimes related to depression and amoebiasis which is caused by an amoeba which is uh, really harmful for health and not all amoebas are harmful for health and uh, uh, singella singella is another bacteria which causes uh, uh, singellosis and even typhoid fever so if the patient is affected by fever and uh, any other abnormalities like bloody diarrhea it is most commonly related to typhoid fever and singella i mean singellosis so that's uh, acute diarrhea. Now we will move into chronic diarrhea. Chronic diarrhea. Chronic diarrhea is the repeated attack of acute diarrhea. So chronic diarrhea uh, is most commonly caused by ulcerative colitis where the colon, I mean the large intestine is inflamed with some ulcers and uh, Crohn's disease where the ending part of the small intestine which is connected with the large intestine uh, is inflamed that is the ileum is inflamed and even uh, bowel cancer I mean the cancer in the uh, cancer in the colon and uh, then the irrita irritative uh, bowel syndrome is also a cause. So this is chronic uh, diarrhea and its causes. The treatment is very common and we would and should have studied in our uh, earlier elementary schools or high schools. So we can use electrolyte solution, oral rehydration solution in the initial stages uh, which is made up of uh, uh, one uh, tablespoon of salt and six tablespoon of uh, uh, sugar. In severe cases, doctors may prescribe anti diarrheal drugs such as diphenoxylate and loperamide, um, and uh, this must be taken with the advice and the guidance of doctor. This must usually is uh, not advisable to give these drugs to children if they have diarrhea. And now we are going to have a special session in our YouTube channel that is food corner. What can be done uh, uh, as a food like what can be taken as a food during uh, certain uh, health conditions. So today we are going to see about tender coconut. Tender coconuts are usually very rich in electrolytes which help uh, to increase the electrolyte in our blood. And uh, these uh, electrolytes uh, are usually made in ORS solutions which can be even made at home. And that's all. And final warning is uh, if the patient is having 
bleeding and diarrhea in the anal region uh, you must uh, seek the uh, guidance of doctor as it is an emergency so that's all thank you see you soon in the next video with even more information thank you thank you so much and don't forget to like share and subscribe our channel and be a learning